Testing, testing, one, two, three, testing, testing. Howdy, today is Monday, capital M-O-N-D-A-Y, March 29th. The countdown is really beginning, March 29th, 2021, 22, 23, 24. <laughs> Welcome to Count Your Blessings. Congratulations, you are reaching towards the end. I can't wait till the end of it because I have, um, I want to, I just want to do a special video talking about all the things we, um, talked about on here. So today I am thankful for Kroger's Grocery Store, capital K-R-O-G-E-R-S, Kroger's. I like that grocery store, even though I do a lot of shopping, a lot of grocery shopping on Amazon, not Amazon, Walmart. I do like Kroger's, and hey, thankfully, they I did get an email maybe a month ago. Time's going by so fast, but um, let's say a month and a half ago that Instacart, well, our particular um, Kroger's that I like to shop to here is now integrated with um, Instacart, so hmm, maybe I can, Michael Jackson, Make that change and switch from Walmart to to Kroger's, but I'm thankful that Kroger's has it because they have items that they have items in their store that uh, Walmart naturally don't have that you can buy online. That's the thing. It's like they have pretty much everything that Kroger's has, minus you know it being Kroger's name brand or something, but. The, the catch is with certain Walmarts that I may choose to shop at online, they may not carry the item. It may not be available for you to buy um, online for for delivery. That's the thing. So there's a certain, certain things that I do like to get that um, Walmart just won't deliver. But there is one thing in particular that Walmart just didn't have, period. At least at the Walmart that I tend to um, frequent here. And it's a certain type of coffee, so. Eargold Kroger's. I like some of the fish that they have there. There's a certain type of package of fish that I always get when I go there. I like, um, ooh, my husband just text messages. Said, responded to my text message. Hey, boo, I will get to you. I'm glad I can read part of it while the camera's going so I can get back to him right after this video. But they have fish there at Kroger's and fries. Isn't that, man, at one point they had some fries there. But that's how it always happens. When you get a new carrier, a brand carrier, let's say like the french fries. It comes in this blue bag. I think it's by their brand or something. But it was the shoe shrink, fry, shoe shrink fries. And oh my gosh, they were perfect. They were like how McDonald's shoe shrink fries are. You know, a, a nice length and not all cut and have like potato chip crumbs or something. You know, and so for... Like all last year, they were a dollar. So I mean, I would buy bags and bags and bags. I was so happy. <laughs> and then of course the new year changed and dun, dun, dun. they saw that it was a hot ticket. So they raised the price to either 50 cents up to 50 cents or 25 cents. So like you dirty souls, like, please stand by. So now I had to carry my happy tail back to Dollar Tree and get their french fries, the crinkle cut. You know, I mean, I like the shoestring fries. I got spoiled on getting the shoestring fries. And they jacked up the price thinking that oh, we were going to stay. And no, I left. Went somewhere else for a lower price point. Just compromised on the, the style of fry. But um, Kroger's is cool. I like their deli. Oh my goodness, they have soups and stuff. You can get like live, real life soups. That sounds so stupid. <laughs> How else can I describe it? You gotta have lobster or lobster, the poor things. You know, some Kroger's have lobsters in the glass and they're like really alive. <laughs> ah, poor things. Well, they have a soup bar, so like the soup is fresh and hot. Not live. We have real life soup. <laughs> Let's go get your real live super Kroger's. 
Or fresh soup, and you can ladle it out, put it in a bowl, and take it home. I really love that. Dinner rolls you can choose from. Dinner roll. Here we go, here we go. Oh, the dinner roll. <laughs> so, oh, oh my gosh, and the pizza they have, they have introduced to their Kroger bakery line um, flatbread pizzas. I believe there's three different kinds of flatbread pizzas. Like pizza varieties. Ah, pizza varieties. They also have the regular pizza. Oh my goodness, those pizzas are big. They probably are like 19, but 19 inches across. Those pizzas are big. You know, so I need to actually find a, a bigger pizza pan to put the pizza on when I put it in the oven because they're bigger than the standard, you know, the 12. 12 inch round on pizzas. But the price is really good, and then I get coupons in the mail from them. Oh, man, I love getting the Kroger's membership coupons. Those coupons are good because they don't be like, save point zero cent when you buy 12. You know, it's nothing stupid like that. Oh, <laughs> it's like real, real savings. And so I got a pizza actually from the, the bakery part in which I was talking about. And I believe the coupon was like save $1.25 and the pizzas are already $5.99. So, you know, I was like, hey, it gave me enough to go get a pop. Soda. Hey. So, hey, ding, ding, ding. Save a little soda money. I got a coupon from Kroger's where I was able to get uh, a 12, what was it, up to a 12 ounce bag of laced potato chips for free, no catch. Ooh, I got a coupon from Kroger's to save like a dollar on cooking oil. Kroger brand cooking oil at that. So it's like, man, wait till this goes on sale plus my coupon. Hey. The Kroger's I go to, well, every Kroger's I've been to, I mean, the experience has always been pleasant. Even when um, they're backed up or it's filled with people, this was post COVID. Like, I know sometimes they are busy and they could be over understaffed. So sometimes, let's say, like the restrooms weren't always up to par or the cleanliness of the store's floor wasn't perfect but you have to understand that once again it's busy and sometimes they are understaffed but I guarantee you the staff members were always friendly so I just overlooked that because it wasn't like the store was like that every day but when you went in or when I went in I was able to tell them man they're just probably really behind because it was a little more chaotic there was more people and they were still trying to put freight out at weird times that's another giveaway but Kroger's is friendly and they haven't changed I believe my first time going to a Kroger's was when I was mm, probably first grade first grade my first experience shopping at a Kroger's and I liked it then you know what I'm thinking I liked um, Kroger's is because their floor, like in the bakery, their floor has always been consistent. That weird brown color, like how the McDonald's kitchen is, you know how the kitchen tile is in the McDonald's, it's like a weird brown color with black grout. Well, that's how all the Kroger's floors were, and they just, I think that it was since it was a level of consistency about it, and it kind of tied in with how I loved McDonald's as a child back then. But I just like that it's, it's never changed. Even when they had facelifts and remodels of the store, it still was pretty easy to follow. And they had the decency to give you maps when they did like grand reopenings and stuff like that. Thankfully, there was always a, a point that never changed, which, which was the deli and bakery so and the restroom. So like if they did do like a major gut of gutting out of the Kroger's, I always had a, a place, a permanent fixture in there to help me kind of re-remember re the store because once again the bathrooms didn't change and definitely front end checkout didn't change too much either. They just got a facelift expanded or got smaller but they were always in the same spot. So it was in the bakery too so it helped me to map out the rest of the store. 
Kroger's, the people there are always friendly. I like the perks. I like the um, Friday sales that they have where, ooh, you just want to hurry and run in there and get in there and get the special sales because it's only on Friday. Man, I get hooked to that. It's like, ooh, Pringles, $1. Oh, go in there ASAP. So if I had to choose a grocery store, it would be um, Kroger's over Walmart all day, every day. Walmart always wins because their prices are cheaper. So if I did compare Kroger's prices to Walmart's prices, Walmart would have them beat. That is if I don't do couponing and look for sales and stuff. I think it would even out if I did like extreme couponing with Kroger's compared to Walmart. But that's a lot. I haven't got the full grasp and understanding of couponing like that. And just the thought of it right now is making my head really tired. I'm starting to get like mentally fatigued just thinking about super couponing. Ugh. So I just coupon with the coupons I have and just try to be as frugal as possible. Because, um, couponing needs to be a whole mass subject taught to us in high school because I'll get catch a migraine trying to figure that out right now. <laughs> Let me talk about clean up IO3 so it's spazzing out. We have another novice rookie couponer spazzing out because they can't get the numbers together. <laughs> All right, y'all. It's me, LA. Pronounced like LA, like the city. I'm not from there, but I'm breezy. Hey, husband. What's up, son? Um, I will see you guys again this time tomorrow, 4:30 Eastern Standard Time. Please remember to count your blessings. Order a mask. 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 Buy 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 a mask. Order a mask.